Hello, students. Hello, doctors. Uh, we are in immunology topic now. Uh, it is like it's been a while gap after a few days. Uh, so now in immunology, in microbiology, you know, we have uh, other topics, whatever we covered, bacteriology, virology, parasitology, mycology, they all are about organisms and their diseases and diagnosis. But in immunology, we are going to talk about the immune system response to these organisms. Immunology as such is important, not only in microbiology, from pathology, medicine point of view also, you have a lot of questions from that. That means this immunology is totally important. We are going to cover entire immunology. That means anatomy and also there are different type of reactions, types of immunity, everything. Okay, so what are the topics we are going to cover here? These are the topics we're going to cover. So when you see this, you can see the, the all are important topics and it's the complete immunology, almost complete immunology, I would say, okay? Except autoimmunity, I haven't added here. Uh, that is more medicine related, but when we have a time, we'll discuss, but now only other important topics we're going to talk. So immune system structure, first we're going to talk about the structure, very important. Questions are there. Innate and acquired immunity difference is very important. Your questions. Antigen is important. Antibody is very, very important because you have immunoglobulin uh, G A M E D. So always, you know, questions are asked from the these uh, immunoglobulins. And then antigen antibody reaction means it is basically the serological tests. All the tests, agglutination, uh, precipitation, neutralization, and under that there are ELISA, Western blot, many other tests will come under this. So you have questions from those things also. Complement system is always asked, questions as expected, cytokines also, especially acute phase reactants we're talking here. And then active and passive immunity, differences are important. Hypersensitivity reaction, you know, every year there's a question, uh, the four hypersensitivity reactions, type 1, type 2, type 3, type 4. So your questions from that also. And transplant is very important. And again, in transplant, we have a lot of graft reaction types of acute, you know, acute, hyperacute, chronic rejections and all graft rejections. So you can have questions from those things also. Now let's start. So structure of the immune system. So let's start from the uh, first topic, the structure of immune. We talk about structure. We have two. We have primary and the secondary. We have primary structure and the secondary lymphoid organs, right? Primary and the secondary lymphoid organs. So now, so primary and then the secondary. Now let's talk about the primary first. So in primary, when you talk about the primary organ, lymphoid organ, there are two things. One is your bone marrow. One is your bone marrow. And other one is your, one is your bone marrow. And other one is your thymus. Thymus, okay. So there will be questions from this also. What are things you should know? Bone marrow means birth. B for bone marrow, B for birth. Okay, B for bone marrow, B for birth. So birth of birth of both B cell and T cell. Both B and T. B for B, B for birth. Okay. Both B and T cell. Okay, happens here. And then what happened? Uh, that is birth. And after birth, B cell maturation happens here. B cell maturation. B and T cell, the B cell maturation happens in the bone marrow. B for B, B for bone marrow, right? Happens here. What about thymus? In thymus, the birth is in the bone marrow, but the T cell maturation, the T cell further matures and differentiates in the thymus. T cell maturation and differentiation happens in the thymus. So T for T, T for thymus, first point. And other thing, if you remember, the thymus develops from the third pharyngeal pouch. Third pharyngeal pharyngeal, third pharyngeal pouch, third pharyngeal pouch. Okay, this is also another question usually asked. Okay, third pharyngeal pouch. So T, 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 all become T. T cell maturation, T cell birth is always bone marrow, but the maturation happens in the thymus. Okay, and then third pharyngeal pouch. That's it. These are the things you should know in the primary. Now, secondary. When you talk about the secondary lymphoid organ, it's also important. They can always ask questions from secondary also. Secondary, very important. In fact, I would say, first of all, in secondary, what are the things important? Secondary lymphoid organ, already you see in the picture itself, the first is the lymphoid organ, then comes your spleen, and then your lymph nodes, right? Lymph nodes, different way. So when you talk about that, so first is what? First is your spleen, and then your uh, lymph nodes, we'll talk about it. And then the third one is your, third one is your, we call it as what? Payer patches. Okay, payer patches. That is P A O E R. Payer patches. Payer patches are nothing but the lymph nodes in what? GIT. They are basically the GIT lymph nodes. Okay, they are basically GIT lymph nodes. You change the color. These are basically in your GIT, there's a lymph nodes. You no, know, those things. Okay, those lymph nodes. So, uh, so here, very, uh, uh, if you remember, pear patches, very important role in which, if you remember, maltoma. These or, these organs are combinedly called as what? Malt. Malt means mucosa-associated lymphoid tissue. Malt. Okay, we call it as malt. Mucosa-associated lymphoid tissue. Okay, mucosa 
associated lymphoid mucosa associated lymphoid tissues lymphoid or lymph node i'm writing lymphoid tissues okay that is malt so malt you remember maltoma is caused by h pylori that's also question frequently asked okay so these are the gut related here one important thing in pair patch is remember there is some cell called m cells m cells m cells are very very important you know why i'm stressing on m cell because these m cells are basically the epithelial cells without a microvilli okay they are basically basically they are epithelial cells without their epithelial cell but no microvilli that's a question microvilli and why i'm stressing here so much because m cell is the main cell for entry of your salmonella salmonella okay salmonella shigella vibrio species shigella vibrio these organisms they enter into the git through this only because see if you remember pair in maltoma pair patch is located in the mucosa it is located in the mucosa mucosa uh, sorry it's located in the submucosa it's located in the submucosa layer you just studied in the anatomy on the superficial layer on the upper uppermost part you know in the, in the git in the uppermost part, outside part there where there is no microvilli those cells are called m cells m cells are the site where salmonella shigella vibrio can enter this can be a question so where this thing okay. and pair patches is in the submucosa and here is the infections like h pylori uh, that means maltoma caused by h pylori can occur in the thing so these are the few questions they can ask now important thing is about not the, the most important thing here is your what your spleen and lymph node differences because you should know that t cell and b cells have different type of origin here right once again just one second yeah i'm coming back yeah so here what happened i'm going to show you the difference now in the lymph node so let's say you have uh, b cells and the t cell b cell t cell origin okay b cell t cell origin okay this side and here i'm going to write the b cell t cell origin and here i'm going to write the what i'm going to write here the ha huh, the lymph node first and then spleen we will go in alphabetical always l comes first and then comes the spleen same way remember here also b is first and then comes the t okay alphabetical order okay alphabetical order now remember how to remember for b the shortcut is b c g b c g b c g okay b c g b b c g t ka t p p okay t t cell ka you are going to remember t p p tasty paneer paratha tasty paneer paratha tpp tpp very easy okay now see how i'm going to fill this one so now because because i told bcg c for cortex here comes the cortex cortex follicle cortex c for c cortex follicle okay yeah. c for c again yeah, cortex and g for germinal follicle germinal follicle you have questions from here especially from patho or anatomical part i'm going to cover micro also so please remember b c g c for cortex g for germinal b c g okay t ka t p p tasty paneer paratha t for t t for tasty so t p one is p first one you're going to remember is what a p for pericortex peri pericortex pericortex the location of the t cell in lymph node is pericortex the location of t cell in spleen is another p so that is peri peri arteriolar sheet peri arteriolar sheet so sir do p a gaya how to remember that's what is a clue no s for spleen ho gaya s for sheet ho gaya finished very easy right sheet so tpp bcg shortcut very very simple so you can expect question from anything you can ask they can ask you maturation or t cell maturation or this pharyngeal pouch many times asked in anatomy and here also lymph node ka, ka location basis mein there were a lot of question asked in uh, uh, previous neat pg exams also okay so bcg tpp very simple structure of immune system is over finished there there cannot be any other questions apart from this okay yes now we go to next topic innate and acquired immunity when you talk about innate and acquired immunity so we are going to classify it okay first one side i'm going to write innate and another side i'm going to write the acquired okay acquired acquired is otherwise also called as you know acquired is otherwise called as the adaptive immunity also that means immunity which is adapted during the life adaptive okay adaptive immunity innate immunity and the adaptive immunity 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 okay now so immunity see innate immunity see if you want to remember sir ye thoda mushkil hai thoda uh, easy karwa do how to make it easy yes i will tell you how to make it easy so it's very easy you don't have to uh, struggle actually so i'm going to change the color of this one hmm. 
So innate immunity, innate immunity means you remember your village or your town where you were born, okay? You were birth, where did you born, okay? So it's easy. It means you are born in that village. So village mein kya hoga? Everybody will come to help you. Everybody remembers you. They no need memory, memory, nothing. Any attack comes, antigen comes, any uh, foreign, anything comes to attack you in your village. You all the people around you whom they know you since the birth. So they will come and protect you. That means immediately... Without any memory, memory, they'll just come and protect you. Very simple. Ho gaya? When you want village. Acquired immunity is something what when you come to city. When you say for a, your medicine, MBBS or for studying in abroad, you went for FMG abroad or whatever. You came out of your town. Then what happened there? You have to slowly get, you know, friendship with the neighbors so that they can protect you from the enemy. That means you're adapting. You understand? That means memory is important because of the neighbor ko apke memory So in adaptive immunity, memory has a very important role and immediately response nahi aega. Pele, you will become friend with your neighbors. Okay. So the first response are always slow. Then when you become closer, closer, then second response means they will become more closer to you and they will protect you. It's not basic. The funda is this only. Innate means since birth, whole village will protect you. So fast response, quick response, short time. In neighbor ka initial response is slow then slowly slowly what happened you become friendly and everybody will become your friends okay this much is the concept so now what are the points we are going to stress here in innate immunity what are the questions they can ask first of all innate immunity you should know it is since birth this is since birth that means it depends upon the genetic constitution it depends upon the hormone everything hormone everything okay everything depends everything uh, all have important role now that means what uh, innate immunity means you can talk about all your physical barrier, your skin, your mucosa, everything has important role. These all are the first, first immune response that comes to help you. Skin, mucosa, all the secretions, whatever you see, you know, your lacrimal secretion or everything, you know, these are the things, okay? So this was the question asked. Birth, genetic, hormone, everything has important role in innate immunity, okay? Here you don't have that role, you don't have that one, okay? Forget about it. So, innate immunity, uh, innate immunity when you talk, it usually... Here, they respond to non-specific antigen. This, the antigen should, do, doesn't have to be specific, non-specific antigen. Non-specific antigen means, example, the lipopolysaccharide of the bacteria uh, or, you know, flagella. All these non-specific structures can have. But for acquired immunity, there's always a specific antigen. Specific and a specific uh, bacteria or a specific virus, whatever comes. So they respond to the specifically, okay? So they are non-specific, here specific. Or you remember... Non-specific is always innate means always non-specific. Okay, right? That one. And third one, in immunity, I told everybody helps you. So it most almost all the cells, you know, almost all cells. Okay, except T and B cell. Almost all cells, when I say all cells, it means it includes what? It includes your basophil, basophil, eosinophil, your macrophages, neutrophil, okay, neutrophil, dendritic cells you know, platelet, everything, all, so nothing is left. All the cells have important role in innate immunity, okay? Here, in acquired immunity, platelet, I will take it out because they don't have much role here, okay? B cell, E cell, basinophil, eosinophil, macrophage, neutrophil, lymphocyte, even your monocyte, everything has important role. Here, one, and one other important cell is natural killer cells. Natural killer cells have very, very important role here, okay? But here, no. Here what? Only it's T cell and B cell. T cell and B cell, that's it. T cell and B cell have important role. That's it, okay? This is for your innate immunity. And innate immunity, as I told you, these are... These images are fast, they are fast, but but what? Short-lived. Fast and they're short-lived. The response is fast, but they're only short-lived. But here the response is what? The first exposure is always slow, slow, but second or further responses will be fast and prolonged. Fast and prolonged, the adaptive immunities are usually prolonged, the, the antibodies form, they remain longer. That's what, what happened when he, during innate immunity, there is no memory. Immediately you get response. There is no memory, immediate response. Because village people immediately aake aapko protect karega, aapko birthplace mein. But when you go to city, you need to have memory. People should know who are you. Okay. So you need memory role is here. Okay. You need a memory. So that is very, very important here. That is very, very important in case of this one. Okay. So this is very, very, very important thing that you should know. We'll talk about innate and so these are the questions they will ask you. We'll talk about uh, uh, more things come and yeah, and receptors here for innate immunity, non specific receptor, non specific receptor. They can act the receptors which is present on the on the all these blood cells or they're non specific, 
But here it is specific receptors. You have specific receptors for T and B cells. I didn't write here T cell and B cells. T and B cells. Okay, T and B cells. T and B cells are the most important cells here for adaptive immunity. Rest of all the cells are innate immunity. And here they have specific receptors. Specific receptors. Okay, that's it. This is the difference, main difference between your innate and acquired immunity. So in a picture way, if you want to show you, this is the thing. If you talk about the immune system here, so look at this. So we have the immune system and we have innate immune system and the adaptive immune system. As I told you, see the most important things here are, uh, the most important thing here are, you see, physical barrier, as I told you, skin and mucosa layer. And then chemical barriers, so all your secretions, yeah, lysosome, etc. And when you come for uh, cells, I told you, mast cell, neutrophil, macrophage, natural killer, all important cells will come here. But what about adaptive immunity? When we talk about adaptive immunity, we are talking about two cells. What are they? T cells and B cells. That's it. B cell produce immunoglobulin, we're going to talk in a while. And then T cell produces the, yes, uh, they produce the uh, T lymphocyte produces further differentiate CD4 and CD8 cells. We're going to talk about it, okay? And somehow, this uh, dendritic cell have important role because they are antigen presenting cells, so they present the antigen, uh, the link between these two, innate and immature dendritic cells, the antigen presenting cell, okay, right? So this is about the difference between innate and the adaptive immune system. Now, toll like receptors, when I told you innate immunity, when I talked about the innate immunity, right? When I talked about the innate immunity, mm -hmm. I told you that, now, I told you that in when we talk about immunity, the innate immune in innate immunity, the non-specific receptor in innate immunity, the non-specific receptors are called as the non-specific receptors are called as toll-like receptors. This toll-like receptors are first actually uh, derived from which one? This uh, fruit fly called Drosophila. Drosophila, that's a fruit fly. Fruit fly. Okay. I don't think they'll ask this fruit fly question, but you remember tall like receptors are important. And why it's important? I'll tell you. Each tall like receptor has some individual function. Very easy, easy, very easy. So many people find it difficult, but I would say this please don't say it is difficult. It's very easy. So two, how to remember? See, two is two. Two, no? So how you remember? Peptidoglycan. Pe T do do or do, whatever. Do is two, right? Ninety two. Do glycan. Peptidoglycan, you know, when you talk about peptidoglycan, it's always in the gram positive. P for P, P for peptidoglycan. So gram positive. Okay, that's also one clue. But remember, two for two, peptidoglycan. Peptidoglycan layer of gram positive bacteria. Okay, gram positive bacteria. You can see this. Uh, they, they respond. These receptors specific for these receptors, which is present on the blood cells, on the inflammatory cells, they respond to this gram positive bacteria. Three for three. Three, you know, three, three letters. No, three letters. So you the word, Rio. Rio virus, Rio virus. Okay, I always say Rio bird because it's a link. I'll tell you Rio. What's a Rio? If you remember, I always say in my shortcut in virology, I told Rio bird is this beautiful bird which has two horns. Is ka matlab kya hai? It is a double standard RNA virus. So for double standard RNA virus, the receptor is TL or three. Three. Okay, this can be asked. This question was asked in some previous exam. And four. Four is four. This is a little bit twisty. Four means four. Four for patty. Fatty, 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 four for fatty. So when you talk fatty means it's lipid. You know? So lipo, lipid, fatty means lipo. So lipopolysaccharide. Whenever you say lipopolysaccharide, I always told you lipo, LPS layer or lipopolysaccharide. Lipid is mostly for negative people, gram negative people. So gram negative bacteria. Okay, that's in my bacteria class. If you go, you can see. I'll also revise you before FMG exam and need PG. So don't worry. But still, again, remember negative means negative is called the LPS. So these are the questions, you know, even when you're sleeping, someone asks you, you have to just distract because that's the way you're going to score. These are questions sometimes, you, you know, whatever in INSC, you see all questions with single liners and people miss that thing. So that shouldn't happen. So that's why I'm giving this clue. Okay, excuse me. So fatty is a lipopolysaccharide, the LPS gram negative bacteria acts on this. Okay. What about five? Five, uh, uh, if you see for the, um, uh, for five, uh, for, see, we finished the uh, Rio bacteria and finish the four for fatty lipopolysaccharide. And yeah, before coming to five, I have to show you this also. I'll tell you this one. Five for, easy, five, you can remember flagella. I thought I'll tell you later. Any flagella, any bacteria flagella, they act on this one. Okay, for a flagella, not much asked. Okay, but you can expect question from there. Seven and eight. Seven for yes. Yes starts with seven. No seven. So yes for single cell. You have a you have a double standard RNA. So there where is a single cell. So single standard RNA virus. Single standard RNA. Single standard RNA virus. Clearly, this is specific. Nine. Nine. If you write it ulta, it becomes nine. No nine. Ka thoda ulta likhogi. It becomes like this. B. Ha na ulta. So that is bacteria, any bacteria, just for any bacteria, it's not specific, okay? So these are the few questions, especially there are three, 
2, 4, and 7, 8, you should know. You must know. Okay. So these are the toll like receptors. Very, very simple. You know the shortcut. That's a 2 for 2, 3 for 3, 4 for 4 fatty, 5 for flagella, S for S for single standard RNA, double standard Rio, either okay. So 9 is bacteria. That's it. Okay. So these are exceptions. Now, next, innate and adaptive cell components. Yes. Now this question can be asked. This is very important also. So innate component, there are some innate cells and then there are adaptive immunitically. There are different type of cells and different type of systems work for this. Okay. So as I told you, for innate system, we do all the physical barrier, etc., etc. We have spoken about it. We have spoken about all the physical barriers. Apart from that, there are a few things which is much more important here. What are they? For innate immunity, the complement system. For innate system, the complement system is usually which one? Your alternator. Alternate. If you forget also, the shortcut is AIM. Remember AIM. Innate immunity. What are the two pathways? Alternate complement pathway. Alternate complement pathway. And other one is your M for manoslectin. Okay. Manoslectin. We're going to talk again as it will come. Manoslectin pathway. It's a question. Okay. A for innate immunity. May These two have role. Complement and alternate manoslectin. For adaptive immunity, it is what? It is your complement, uh, classic complement, classic pathway, the classic complement pathway. Classic complement pathway is important role in the adaptive immunity. That, this question was asked many times. Please don't forget it. Adaptive immunity, classic complement pathway has an important role. Okay. AC, if you forget also AC, don't confuse with A for adaptive or acquired classic complement pathway. Okay. And cells, maybe we already spoke about it for adaptive immunity, just T cells and the B cells. T cells and the B cells are important adaptive but for your innate immunity all the cells which we already spoke already yeah right that means your neutrophil your eosinophil your uh, uh, basophil your monocyte macrophage mast cell okay all of them these are easy things so you'll remember i'm not going to stress remember one important thing is natural killer cell why i'm stressing again and again natural killer cell this question will be asked because this is actually it belongs to lymphoid organism okay see so it's like t and b cell also lymphoid system natural killer also lymphoid but it comes in the innate because these things, these cells, no, these cells which you're seeing above, they come under the, these cells, they come under the myeloid. They come under the myeloid. They come from the myeloid series, myeloid series. But your natural killer and the T cell, B cell, they come under the lymphoid series. That's what they can ask you. Which of the lymphoid cell uh, have a role in innate immunity? It's natural killer cell. That question was asked. I checked it. Okay. So please remember that one. Okay. Finish. This is the innate component and the, the component. And the complement is also very, very important. Aim, AC. Aim, AC. Okay. That you have to remember. Classic. Now see the picture. If you want a short picture of this, so look at this picture. So now here we have the uh, hematopoietic stem cells, bone marrow. So two series. One is the myeloid series, another one is a lymphoid series. Your bone, your stem cell will differentiate into myeloid and lymphoid. So when you go with the myeloid and lymphoid, look what happened now. When you go with the myeloid and lymphoid, so here you can see very clearly in a uh, lymphoid, in lymphoid, in lymphoid. Sorry, I'm just going to show you from the side. Ah, yeah, in lymphoid you see two cells, T cell, B cell and natural killer cell but the natural cell automatically goes where into your innate immunity but only t cell and b cell are coming in your adaptive immunity okay so we are going to put a uh, boundary here okay so now you see here again in a, a myeloid you have all this as rbc plated neutro is no based on monophytol but these things are having important role in the innate immunity whereas your t cell b cell adaptive and apart from this, the natural killer also input. That will be a question, frequently asked question. Okay, remember that is the only lymphoid cell which has role in the innate immunity instead of going to adaptive immunity. That's it. Okay, that's what I'm brief with. No macrophages. Macrophages has different, different names. Macrophages, which is coming in the innate immunity, it has different names and different. So this was also frequently asked uh, anatomy question or uh, micro, how are you on patho, you can say. So Langerhans cells are, what Langerhans cells are? Basically, uh, see, we the other, the Langerhans is basically the dendritic cells dendritic cells okay the antigen presenting cells other name dendritic r r langer dendritic okay but these langans and epithelial cells they these are these cells are basically the macrophages cell which form a giant when the macrophages cell they mix together you know many macrophages they join together and they form this giant cell okay giant cells that is basically Langan's or epithelioid cell. It comes in the Langan's epithelioid cell. Especially if you remember giant cell, there is one important question frequently asked. We also call it as multi MNGC. MNGC means multinucleated giant cells. Okay. Multinucleated giant cells. Giant cells. Okay. If you remember MNGC cells, where it's present, which are the some bacteria are causing it, right? If you remember, 
we do sang smear sang smears for which one which one is a revision you have to tell now all the herpes yes herpes simplex virus herpes zoster virus and even your cmv even your measles they all measles me remember vartin pinkidley cell i'm not going to talk it here it's the pathology part but okay still remember vartin pinkidley cells comes here so otherwise in a hsv and if especially from the vesicles you make a sang smear and if you see you see a multinuclear giant cells so these all are questions and you can have a picture of multinuclear giants i don't have it here it's in my uh virus virology class in pictures may i have mentioned it clearly okay again in revision we'll have it don't worry so now brian brian how to remember sir brian uh now it's okay so now how to remember all other names yes it's very very easy don't worry brain may what do you do these days you know they put what they put a microchip on the brain brain may kya dalta hai microchip dalta hai so it's microglial cells remember like that microglial cells i know some people are very uh, must be knowing this very thoroughly but some people i know especially fmg students might be struggling with this so don't worry don't worry it's very very easy everything have a shortcut and it's easy not mnemonic special i'm talking it's just easy funny ways to remember so remember that. microchip on your brain microglial cells lungs may lungs may alveolar hai so no need you just have to say alveolar macrophage direct name okay lung may alveolar hai so alveolar macrophage no another name neither the liver may what you do you know liver is tasty you always put you cook a liver for non vegetarian people not for vegetarian don't get offended so non vegetarian liver ko kahan par khata hai cup mein they put the put the liver in the cup and they eat it it's delicious so what is kupfer kup k u p kupfer okay kupfer cell kupfer cells forgive for my spelling mistake but you know it's right but actually okay kupfer okay kupfer cells okay kidney kidney please always say don't mess with the kidney 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 okay otherwise you will get renal failure so mess mesangial cell mesangial cell mesangial cell very very simple mesangial cell don't mess with the kidney mesangial cell placenta always what happen when you during during delivery when the placenta is removed only half placenta is removed if you remember only half placenta is removed half of them the placenta remains inside the uterus you know that right especially who have done uh, you know delivery they might be knowing in gynecology department so i would say this half boyer cell half placenta half boyer cell h o uh, h o half b a u e r half boyer cells okay half boyer cell a little bit spelling mistake is there i know but it's okay just remember the name at least you will not forget okay half boyer cells okay this all are questions frequently asked questions okay and bone in bone koi bhi fracture bone mein fracture ho gaya to kya karoge you are going to put a cast you are going to put a cast right in ortho doctor aapko cast dalega so it is osteo Clast, cast ko clast banana the osteoclast. Osteoclast is the macrophage because of the option may there will be osteocyte, osteolite, and osteo uh, osteo uh, you know whatever the blast, osteoblast. So don't confuse with this. Fracture me kya karne? Bone fracture me kya karne? You're going to put what? You're going to put a clast. So that is osteoclast. Okay, these are the questions frequently asked. Very easy. So you will not forget this part also. Okay, now next. Antigen processing cell, very simple and easy. You don't even have to use your brain here. Exactly, if you ask me. So, what is this? In antigen processing cell, uh, the shortcut is, you know what? Bad microbe. Bad microbe. Bad microbe is the shortcut. What to do? What they do? Antigen processing cells. They present the bad microbes to kill T cells to kill them. Okay, so that's the shortcut. So B D M. Why did I say this? B for B cells. B for B cells and D for dendritic cells. D for dendritic cells and then M for macrophages. M for macrophage. See how easy it is. So this is for professional APCs. These are called as professional professional APC cells. But whereas the we have non-professional. Non-professional cells are you know a lot of cells we can say epithelial, endothelial, epithelial cell, endothelial cell, fibroblast. endothelial fibro these things are not okay this is not much asked so don't worry uh, fibroblast etc but still they have this uh, antigen presence property so these are the main things okay that's it we have finished bad microbe shortcut for apc is bad microbe antigen presenting cell presents the bad microbes to t cells remember like that okay bad microbes okay next lymphocyte so when you talk about lymphocyte i already told you three cells you are going to remember here what are the three cells what are the t cells one is your t cell First, let's start with the B cells. Okay, we already spoke about it. Lymphoid. That means specially what happened from the bone marrow to, uh, specially through which one presence of interleukin seven 
we have lympho lymphoid progenitor lymphoid proliferation happen and you get t t cell b cell natural killer cell in presence of seven the i'll i'll come when seven comes seven and l looks similar okay interleukin seven that was a question you have a lymphoid proliferation or lymphoid differentiation happens so three cells t cells uh, t cell b cell t cell another one is your natural killer cells okay you got it three cells now little bit about each thing what are the differences we should know in each first of all yeah first of all the most important thing here is the marker i'm just coming now yeah so first of all the markers let's talk about the marker when you talk about the marker see b is big b for big number so b for big b for big number so what are the markers cd 19 to 23 are the markers cd 19 to 23 are the markers okay remember this is one important and for t cell the markers are less what cd <coughs> excuse me one to eight CD 1 to 8. If you remember CD 4 cell, CD 8 cell are very, very important. Apart from this, also, this is a question. This is also a question. CD 19 to 23, everything comes here only. Okay, please don't forget. Especially if you remember 1, CD 21, which cell is going to attack here? Your Epstein Barr virus. Epstein Barr virus. Okay, they attack on this immunoglobulin. Yeah, that we'll talk with uh, in a while. And for natural killer, it's big number. How to remember? Natural killer 16 and 56. Okay. 1 plus 5 also becomes 6. So, 16, 56. This was also question asked. Okay, natural marker. Okay. Now, after marker, next is the receptors. See, for receptors, B cell receptors are, B cell receptors are, if you remember, I always say B cell receptor B, uh, means best mom and dad. The shortcut is best mom and dad. It means these receptors are immunoglobulin M and immunoglobulin D. They have this receptor. We are going to talk by end also, but this is also a question. Okay, receptor. Okay. Yeah, but here, no. For T cell, we don't have this. T cell, we have something like alpha and beta chain only. So, it's more similar to this alpha, <coughs> beta chain, more like immunoglobulin form. So, we are uh, not that much concerned about this. Natural killer, so we are not concerned about it. Okay. Third one. What about the rosette? They have a beautiful rosette. The B cells, the rosette is we call EAC rosette. EAC rosette. EAC rosette. Okay, rosette is basically what happens. These cells, no, when they combine together, they form like a like a rose. You know, they arrange in a form that sick. Okay, that's a EAC rosette is formed. I remember BEC. Shortcut is BEC. BEC e EAC rosette. Question. But your T cell has sheep. Sheep rosette. T sheep. She. Okay. I I say sheep tikka. Sheep tikka is very delicious. T for tikka. T S for sheep. Sheep tikka. So sheep rosette. Okay, important. Got it? Very easy. And here there is no any rosette formation. And another very important is what? The immunity. See, B cell and T cell, they are involved. We already talked about it. Adaptive immunity. Adaptive immunity. Adaptive immunity. Adaptive immunity and adaptive immunity. But your natural killer cell has what immunity? Natural killer has the innate immunity. That was another question frequently asked. So please remember, the only this is innate, rest all come at this. Okay. So this is a very simple B cell, T cell differentiation. May. And again, B cell further, you know, David 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 into plasma cell and immunoglobulin subproduce. T cell further differentiated into T killer, T lymphocyte. We're going to talk about also in a while. Okay. So these are the things important. So these you don't forget the 19 big number, big number, big B for B, B for big, big number. 19 to 23. Receptors are best mom and dad. Shortcut is best mom and dad. E A C easy, B easy. Life is B easy, B cool, B easy. So E A C rosette. Sheep rosette, sheep ticker. T for T, T for T cell, T for sheep rosette. That's it. Very, very simple. These are the points which are very, very important. They ask. Okay, don't forget. Now, next cytotoxic and the natural color. Again, the cytotoxic natural color. Why I have to bring, sir? Why you have to do difference again? I'll tell you why. Because see, the T cell. A natural killer cell, there are two important properties, similar properties. Okay, what are the two similar properties for these two? We're going to talk about that. First of all, the similar thing, the similar things are very, very uh, easy. What are the similar things you should know? Both are lymphoid. Both are lymphoid, lymphoid. Lymphoid origin, lymphoid origin. Right? Lymphoid, lymphoid. Okay. What is the, well, another important thing is both of them attack the virus, viral, any viral, antiviral, you can say viral or tumor. Here also, virus and the tumor. Virus and tumor. Attacks the virus and the tumor. Okay, that is fine. 
This is okay, sir. What are the differences? That's what differences just we spoke. T cell comes in there, adaptive immunity. A natural killer is innate immunity. Natural killer, innate, 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 frequently asked question. Okay. Oh, yeah. So these two are same properties, similar properties. And these rest all are different. Adaptive and innate. So T cell means always there is memory, memory, memory. Here, no memory. No memories in the innate immunity. We already spoke very clearly. Marker, we just spoke CD, 1 to 8. And here the marker is from 16 and 56 marker. Okay. Did I miss anything else? I think almost done. So these are the things. Okay. So these are the uh, memory and their uh, T cell, B cell, natural, how they work. One is viral tumor here, virus and uh, uh, tumor. Uh, both are virus and tumor, but only thing is the adaptive in it. Memory is present here. No memory. CD 1 to 8, CD 16 to 56. So that's it. Okay. That's it. I think most of them are covered here. Okay. Okay. Now, next. Antibody dependent. There are something called antibody dependent. Uh, this thing is it very important? Okay, I'll tell you. Maybe you never know. These days, what antibody dependent T cell means there are non-specific, non-specific cytotoxic, non-specific cytotoxic T cells. Non-specific cytotoxic T cells. Non-specific cytotoxic T cells. The shortcut is NEMA. NEMA. Okay, NEMA is the shortcut. Oh, what is that? N for N for natural killer cell. N for neutrophil, E for eosinophil, M for macrophage. You know what they do? These cells, they go and attack the, they go and attack on the Hc portion of immunoglobulin and they attack the target cell. They kill the target cell. That's it. Okay. Instead of the proper T, normal cytotoxic is a T cell that goes and do this function. But sometimes what happens, we have non-specific cytotoxic T cell, they go and do this action. Okay. This is uh, this is this will come in type 2 hypersensitivity reaction. Type 2, we will going to talk about it. Especially the two these are graves and uh, your uh, the myasthenic gravis will come here. We'll talk about type 2 hypersensitivity reaction. But remember the cells in what natural killer, neutrophil, basophil, eosinophil. These are the non-specific type of cell. NEMA, shortcut is NEMA. NEMA is antibody dependent T cell media. So they are dependent on antibody and then they do the toxic slices. Okay, that's it. Now, what about the antigen and this thing? This is another very, very important topic. Uh, you're not going to miss this. Yes, antigen, epitope, haptone, all are important. Antigen, antigen, you know, any antigen means any foreign, any, any, okay, I would say any structure, any structure in sense, you know, it could be anything. It could be a bacteria, it could be a virus from outside, or it could be any substance, any pollen or any dust, anything that enters into our body, okay, whatever, that, any structure, okay, etc. So any structure that has Two properties. What are the two properties they should have? One is the immunogenicity. Other one is the antigenicity. Both the properties should be there. Antigenicity, immunogenicity and anti. These are two important properties of this thing. Immunogenicity and the antigenicity. Okay, this is the definition. Now, what is this? What does it mean, sir? So now, and immunogenicity means inducing an immune response. It's just causing an immune response. Antigenicity means the antigen should combine with the antibody. That property is called antigenicity. That's it. Okay, got it. So that is the antigen. That is the antigen means. Now, what is this epitope? What is this uh, epitope? When you talk about the epitope, and then we'll go to the epitope, and then we'll go to haptone. What is haptone? Okay, haptone. Hmm. Okay. Now we'll talk about the epitope. This is the uh, this is the this is the active site. It is the active site of the active site of the which one active site of the it is the smallest unit or site uh, the site of antigen that is we call as the smallest unit smallest unit of antigen that combines with the paratope of paratope of which one antibody that's it. Epitope of antigen should combine with the paratope of antibody to form an immune response. That's it. Okay. So this is basically the smallest unit. Epitope is the small. Epi means small. Smallest unit of an antigen. The smallest unit. Okay. So they are they are the they are the functional unit. You can say they are the functional unit or whatever. They which is going to act on the uh, act with the paratope of the thing. So this is a question. This is a question. Epitope was asked. What about the haptons? Haptons are basically low molecular weight antigens. Low. 
everything is slow. That means what? Shortcut here is how to remember Hapton? H for A. A for they have only antigenic property. They have only antigenicity. This question was asked many times. It's repeated. Hapton is asked many times. So please be careful. But unke pas kya nahi hai? no immunogenicity. I nahi hai na. Hapton mein I nahi hai. So no immunogenicity. Only antigenicity. This was a question asked. Okay. So when they combine with when they combine with the plasma protein, albumin or whatever, when they combine with the plasma protein, they become what? Complete antigen. Complete antigen. Complete antigen. Remember that. Okay. When they combine with the plasma protein, they become a complete antigen. This is also a question. Okay. So first is the antigen, epitope, and then hapton. You have to know. Hapton is half. Half, half. Okay, half means only antigenicity is there, no immunogenicity. And when they come in with the plasma protein, they become a complete antigen. That's these are the few things you should know. Okay, antigen, uh, antigen, epitope, and hapton. That's it. Okay, right. Now, next one. Factors affecting the immunogenicity. Factors affecting the immunogenicity. What are the factors? We're going to talk about that. So here factors, let's go in alphabetical order. It'll be more easy. What are the factors of the immunogenicity? Let's start A. A for adjuvant, right? Adjuvant. Let's go A. A for adjuvant. Adjuvant, we are going to talk about it. It will come in a while. And let's go B. Me kuch nahi hai. Forget about B. B ko kuch nahi hai. C. C is the chemical nature. You should know about the chemical nature. Chemical nature, when you talk, you know, proteins, they induce more immunogenicity comparing to your carbohydrate or the fat. You remember? That's one thing. A, B, C. D for the dose. The dose of the antigen entering is important. The dose, the root, the dose means I'm going to add root to root of the antigen entering. Okay. Either it's going IV injection type or nasal or oral. Example, vaccine. Vaccine is the type of antigen, right? So D. Okay. Yes. Then what about, uh, then we have the, uh, what else we have? Ah, A, B, C, D. Yes. Other thing is F. Uh, uh, I more than half, I would go with G. G is more important. Genetic. Genetic factor, it has very important. H. Hetero. Heterophile. Heterophile, you know, we have two antigens can have same structure. Two antigen can, two organisms can have, two bacteria can have same antigen. That heterophile property, okay? That is one role. So, G, H. Okay. And then the size of the antigen. And the shape of the antigen. Size and the shape of the antigen also important. Size and shape of antigen. Okay. This all are important thing that determines your immunogenicity. If you want good immunogenicity, you should have better adjuvant. You should have better chemical. It should be genetic factor, heterophile. Size should be bigger. Shape should be also be efficient. Shape means, you know, uh, the print should be more protein. All those things. Okay. So these are the factors of it. Very, very simple. Not this question was asked in PG Chandigarh somewhere. I'm just bringing. Okay. I, we never know this is what type of question they're asking. It's for theory. You can write it easily in this order. Okay. That's it. Finish. Now, what is an adjuvant? Yes. Adjuvant, Kelly, you have to remember the adjuvant. Adjuvant is frequently asked. It's a PSM question because vaccines, vaccines they can ask. And here also it has an important role. So how to remember this adjuvant? Adjuvant shortcut is very simple. Uh, how to remember is my friend. My friend advised liquid DPT injection. Remember like this. Okay. My friend, my friend advised liquid DPT injection. Okay. Now, how to remember? Now, how it's come like this? I'm going to tell now. See. Remember it like this. M for mineral oil. Mineral oil. F for prunes. Antigen. This is like non-specific, incomplete antigen. Prunes is actually incomplete antigen. We add with, to increase the uh, immunogenicity of a uh, antigen. Okay, mineral oil you can add. Especially we are doing this with the vaccines. Okay, uh, A for alum. Alum is very commonly used adjuvant for most of the vaccines. Liquid, liquid, liquid paraffin. Actually, mineral oil or liquid paraffin, they're same, same. But your examiners can give anything. That's what I made separate, okay? These two are same. Mineral oil or liquid paraffin are called same, okay? And what about this one? Uh, your pertussis, it acts as an adjuvant for, for DT. DT. But your DT and TT itself act as adjuvant for which one? Hib. Hib, hib is H-influency, right? H-influency, B vaccine. H-influency, H-influency, B for that. So that also can be a question. Very simple. 
you don't have to confuse. So definitely you can expect question from the adjoint. So please remember pertussis act as for DT and DT and TT acts for HIB. Okay. And these things, mineral oil, Crohn's antigen, alum and the liquid paraffin. Very simple. My friend advised liquid DPT injection for adjoint. That's it. Okay. Okay. That's it. Okay. Very simple. You will not forget this part. Next. Now the T cell and T cell independent T cell. This is also very, very easy. I love this. I, I love this T demand. Why I'll tell you. So let's remember like this. First of all, T cell independent. And here we'll put into the T cell dependent antigen. Okay. Let's differentiate like this. Now, when you talk about this, you know what? T cell independent, you remember like a single lady, a single woman, single woman who doesn't want to marry. Okay, she just want to enjoy her life. Single woman, single working woman, not married. She doesn't want to marry. A T cell dependent is a, a married housewife, a married woman, not housewife, a married woman, a married woman. Okay, that's the clue. Now how you remember? Remember like this. Single woman is single. That means simple life. Here, these antigens, the uh, uh, this T cell dependent antigens are simple. Their life, single woman life is very simple, but a married woman's life is complex. So it's a complex antigen. Very simple. See how I'm, I, I just remember like this only and I will never ever forget. Even you have 19 subjects, these immunologists want tricky, tricky like anatomy. You have so many things to remember. If you remember like this shortcut, you'll never forget. Life is simple, life is complex. No need memory. No need. She doesn't have to remember anything. You know, she doesn't have to remember anything. No need memory. Here, wife always have to remember the husband. That means what? Memory is always T cell dependent. Memory is always important. Okay. No memory. No need memory. Okay. Question, question. Third one. Uh, she is always, she here, you know, she's a single lady. She can do makeup or she doesn't need to do any makeup. She's free. She no need to be prepared. So no need, no need antigen presentation no need antigen preparation or presentation okay preparation or presentation here a wife has to present very well front of her husband so antigen presentation is important antigen presentation it's a no i would not preparation it's a presentation is better word so antigen presentation is important that means what antigen presenting cells are important in Antigen presenting cells are important in this one. But for T cell independent, no need. You can have fun. Whatever she wants, she has fun. Because she has a fun, she's polyclonal. That means polyclonal, don't take it bad, okay? She is polygamy. She sleeps with many boys. She's a single woman. She sleeps with many boys. So polyclonal activation of polyclonal activation of B cells. Okay? She's polygamy. But unfortunately, a married wife have to stick only to her husband. So monoclonal, she sticks only to the husband, monoclonal, monoclonal. That means see only one B cell activation monoclonally. Okay, question, question. See, I'm making it very easy, very simple. You don't have to think too much. Now, what's the other point important? Here, polyclonal ho gaya. But unfortunately, it's single. So life me koi productive to kuch nahi hai. So uska vaise kya hota hai? She gives only immunoglobulin M hota hai. So life me kuch productive nahi hai. But Uska is in a T cell dependent husband. If you dependent, she will be very productive. So all immunoglobulins. So she her life is productive. So all immunoglobulins she produces because husband is helping her. Last one, because she's single, no tension. So long. See, it lives longer. It uh, it uh, it lives. Uh, I would say it lives longer. Lives is a wrong word. I would say stays longer. But here it stays. These antigen they stay short. That's it. This much only. Why you have to cry? Very easy. T cell independent and T cell dependent antigen. This only. There is no APC. Here APC is present. Here no antigens, no APC. Okay. No antigen. No need to present anything. That's it. Very, very simple and easy. If you remember this, you will never make mistake in your T cell dependent antigen. Okay. I hope you guys are clear. Please don't make mistake in this question. These are very easy, easy, and I don't want you to make any mistake. Any point they can ask here. Okay. And all are super duper easy. Right. Okay. Next. Heterophile. Heterophile is another favorite topic <coughs> of the examiners, if you remember. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, let me just have a cup of coffee. Uh, in heterophile antigen. Excuse me. <laughs> yeah. Now, for heterophile antigen, 
what is the definition? Heteroplanchin means two organism, two organism, they share, they share same antigen. They share the same antigen. That antigen is called heteropyl antigen. Okay. So we have a lot of examples for that. I know you guys must be already knowing a lot. Still, it's my uh, thing to spell all the things. So one is your the favorite one, Paul Bunnell. Paul Bunnell test. I'm going to write the test by the time. I, I think you guys have to guess yourself before exam. Yeah, you can remember now only. And Will Felix. Will Felix. And then cold agglutination cat. This is basically cold agglutination test. Okay, cold agglutination test. And streptococcus, streptococcus MG test. Streptococcus MG test. And the last one is uh, uh, the Frostman. Frostman is not asked so many times, but you never know. These days, people are crazy. They can ask anything, right? So now let's go to the topic. Yeah. Paul Bunnell test for which for which virus? Epstein-Barr virus. Epstein-Barr virus. You know very well. I told you Epstein, Paul, 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 ka tha. he was kissing a girl in the bar and he got Epstein-Barr virus. His favorite animal was what? Sheep. He likes sheep. So we are using sheep RBC. That means Epstein-Barr virus and sheep RBC, they share the same antigen. That principle we are using for diagnosis. That's Paul Bunnell test. Will Felix. Will Felix is a standard. There is no VRMD. This is for Rickettsia. Rickettsia. Rickettsia and diagnosing the Rickettsia, what we are using, we are using the Proteus antigen. We are using the Proteus antigen. Again, we have classification. We use three, one specially. We are using the two, 19 and K antigens. Okay, that which which one definition we'll do it later. Question: Cat and Streptococcus both for mycoplasma. Mycoplasma because I told you mycoplasma is mycoplasma is for Diana because there is what Diane's method. Diane's method, that is clue. Diana ke pas kya hai? Cat, Diana loves, Diana helps the strippers. This was a clue I gave you in my, my in, uh, in my uh, myco mycoplasma class. Okay, so what we're using for a cold agglutination uh, uh, test, we are using the, uh, we are using O blood group, O blood group. I mean, Diana has a O blood group. Okay, Diana's O blood group, O blood group. And for streptococcus AMG, mm -hmm. we are using streptococcus. We're using streptococcus antigen, streptococcus antigen. Okay, right. Prosman is basically universal antigen. Yes, sabke, saare, everybody has the universal. That's what universal antigen. That's also the type of heterophil. No? Every organism, every organ, every animals or human, they have it except rabbit. Prosman doesn't forest me rabbit nahi hai. Remember like that. Forest me kya nahi hai? Rabbit nahi hai. Okay. Sheep paul ka hai. Forest me rabbit nahi hai. Finished. That's it. Very, very simple. I love this topic. You know, it's simple. Everything is a question. Definite question. These are questions. Tough chance 99 percentage. Okay, so you have to know that one. I'm sorry. Okay, now next super antigen. When we talk about the super antigen, we have uh see, we have T cell dependent antigen. When you talk about and super antigen, see when you talk about T cell dependent, T cell dependent antigen, normally what happened? Any antigen. A, these are the antigen when it uh, enters into a body what happened your uh, antigen presenting cell takes it and give it give to which one your t helper cells then finally a t cytokine t helper t killer whatever t cell and then finally goes to the b cell and then you'll have the immunoglobulin production okay but what happened super antigens this i'm talking this is t cell dependent normal antigen but for super antigen They pass. There is no antigen presenting cell. Directly, they act on the T helper cell or T killer cytotoxic cell, but non specific, not in the specific, just non specific site. It attacks the non specific site. Excess, excessive cytokine is released. That leads to hyperactivation of B cell, and there will be so much of immunoglobulin, excess immunoglobulin, excess cytokines. So, uh, you should know, and excess immunoglobulin. But where it attach, not to the usual site, not to the usual site of the T cell. It attaches to the non-specific other sites, other sites. So excess is cytokine, excess. So the reactions will be very, very bad. That is a super antigen. Okay, that's it. So this is a super antigen. 
Now, shortcut, how to remember for this? Yes, I'll give you shortcut. Don't worry. Everything I have an easy way to remember. So you have to remember few people. There is bacteria, mein, there is super star, super strep, super strip, super star, stacks, okay, super stacks, super strippers, and super raisins. Raisins, delicious super raisins. Okay, bacteria. This is for bacteria. And for virus, I'll tell you, virus and this will go. First, let's finish this one. So for super, this thing, for super and an example, the first one, for staff, staffs, usually what they wear? They wear T-shirt. They wear what? T-shirt. Okay, staff. That means Staphylococcus aureus. In Staphylococcus aureus, some toxins. Which toxins? T for TSST toxin and E for enterotoxin, enterotoxin and E for exfoliative toxin, exfoliative toxin. These are super antigen which cause worse disease. This is a very dangerous. They get severe scalar skin syndrome, toxic shock syndrome and patient will die. So these three are dangerous. TSST, enterotoxin, exfoliation. Question. Frequently asked. Repeated question. I'm going to put it very, very important. You'll have questions here. Okay. That is for staph. What about the streptococcus? Streptococcus, very simple. If you remember, strippers. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm going to go a different color. Oh, I'm sorry, I need to change a different color. Yeah. Here, streptococcus. Strippers or streptococcus. For me, streptum is streptococcus. The streptus, strepto. Strippers, what they do, they prefer to live in AC. They live in AC because they get what? Scarlet fever. Because they have scarlet fever, they live in AC. That means here, it is basically the streptococcus pyogens, streptococcus pyogens, which toxin? Exotoxin A and C. A and A and C. Okay, A and C. This is also a question. You should know. This is the toxin which is causing what? Scarlet fever. Scarlet fever also frequently asked question caused by streptococcus pyogens. And remember, this scarlet fever causing toxin is basically a super antigen. So these toxins are super antigen. These are super antigen. This is super antigen. Raisins is basically, you know what? You add raisins to pie. Delicious pie case are there, na? Aap raisin add karo. Raisins are dried grapes. It's delicious, right? So, pi ka matlab kya hai? Raisin ko yersin karo. Yersinia. Raisin, yersin. Sounds similar. Yersinia, P for pseudo TB. Pseudo TB. And E for yersinia, enterocolitica. 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 But that's it. Enterocolitica. Okay. Yes, enterocolitica. So, these are the frequently asked questions. These are the super antigens. But. Is there anything in the virus? Yes, definitely we have. What are the super viruses? We have super virus and we have what? Super fungus. It's nice. It's so fun. You know, it's so fun. Believe me, micro is fun and my immunology is even more fun. Okay. Uh, so what is this? Super virus, all dangerous viruses. Epstein-Barr virus, HIV, CMV, rabies. These all are super, super people, super, super viruses, right? Rabies to pata hai, super dog dangerous. EBV super foul, HIV to vesay dangerous, super. CMV also, CM is super, super CM. We have super CM, super dog, super HIV, super EBV. Okay, questions can be asked. Super fungus is very simple. Eki ladki super, uska naam kya hai? Mala. Mala is a super girl. Mala, if you remember, Mala is a purple which causes pityriasis, vesicolor, and then what it, it has, what? Banana and grapes appearance, or you will never ever forget, I know you guys know, spaghetti and meatball appearance. Okay, that's one classic question we can ask. Mala means Mala is a purple. Mala is a purple, which causes pityriasis, vesicolor. You know that one. That's it. These are the things you should know. Okay, super antigen. So very, very simple. Don't forget, very important topic, super antigen, heterophile antigen, both are frequently asked questions. Okay, then. Next, antibodies. Antibodies is another beautiful, beautiful topic. Uh, I'm sure you guys love it. 
So when you talk about antibody, first of all, the important thing is antibodies, those are now antigen ho gaya. Now we are in antibody topic. Antigen is finished. All different pans and everything we finished. Now we talk about immunoglobulin. Immunoglobin mein antibodies, those are immunoglobin, MM. Do M. So it comes matlab 2 M is there. 2. 2 for 20%. 20 percentage of plasma protein is immunoglobin. 15 to 20 percent is plasma protein is immunoglobulin. Okay. Right? Now, uh, yes, before that, yeah. But uh, now you see most of the immunoglobulins here has something I want to add, but then uh, I think the space is a bit less. Okay, let me let me fit there only. Okay, see most immunoglobulin, this is uh, they are monomers. Monomer, some are dimer and some are pentamer. Pentamer, okay, they are like this monomer only one, two, I think. Okay, joined by J chain. This is a J chain we call okay. Uh, monomer example, what is the example of a monomer? Monomer, the examples are like this. Which one all? Especially G, G, D, and E. Dimer is A, immunoglobin A. Immunoglobin A. Pentamer is I, G, M. Okay. I should have first told the classification, but that's okay. I'm, I'm, I'm coming with that. Okay. So what happened? When you talk about the, uh, first of all, let's talk about the structure. First of all, you talk about the structure. When you talk about the structure of an immunoglobulin, you have like this. You have two long chain, okay, two long chain, and there is a this is called long chain, H chain, heavy or long chain, okay, H chain or the big one, H chain or long chain, and then we have and then we have short chain, okay, we have short chain, okay, this is the uh, uh, heavy chain or light chain, light chain or short chain, we call it, okay, got it, okay, we have it now. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now, there are another thing also important here, if you remember, this place, this, uh, there are two fragments. See, here to here, for before that, I write this, uh, this thing. These are the, the bonds, you know, disulfide bonds, you can say disulfide bonds. This portion till here, till here, it is called fab portion, fab portion, okay, fab. Okay, till here. And the rest, all this part is called Hefc portion. Hef portion, Hefb, FAB and Hefc portion. Okay, right? Now, this is the, the FAB. I'm telling you, I'm going to talk about both FAB and FAC now. Before that, remember, heavy chain has different, it can be alpha, beta, uh, sorry, it can be alpha, it can be delta, it can be mu, it can be epsilon, and it can be uh sorry it's alpha delta uh which one uh and uh, mu uh, yeah mu alpha delta which one did i forget and gamma so based on this heavy chain only we classify it into classify it into not you don't need to know all these things i'm just only saying okay uh, uh the types i'm going to write a type this is alpha it's immunoglobin a uh, immunoglobin a okay yeah now uh delta it's ig d Mu is IgM, E is IgE, this is IgG, that's it, okay, the shortcut, these are the types of immunoglobulins we have, types of immunoglobulins we have, okay, right, yeah, now, yeah, okay, yeah, so now, this is one thing, HN, based on this, the types of immunoglobulins, that is, shortcut is what, shortcut is GAME, Immunoglobin types are game D, okay, G A M D. Okay, we'll talk about each now. Now, important is Fab and FC. Frequently asked questions are, what is the Fab? Fab, they go upper hai, FC niche hai. Okay, so I'm going to write about that now. Hmm. Remember like the shortcut, Fab and FC, FC. Okay, Fab and FC. So now Fab means fabulous people. So fabulous people ka usually upper. Hai. Okay, remember like this. Fab is top, so top. But what are the things important in fab we have to know? I'm going to say that on a second. Okay, let me just change this color. It's not too good. Yeah, fab means AB. So it is the antigen binding site. A for A, antigen binding site. Okay, especially the if you remember, that is the which part? Paratope. Pa if you remember, antibody may paratope, they where epitope will attach, right? So the antigen binding means antigen ke epitope will bind to this one. So it's a paratope. How to remember? Fabulous people, fabulous people. Celebrities ke pas kya hai? Parachute hai. They have parachute. They are hotspot. They are always in hotspot. 
फैबुलस पीपल हैव पैराशूट एंड देयर हॉटस्पॉट सो पैराशूट हो गया अदर नेम इज हॉटस्पॉट दूसरा नाम है दे आर वेरी हाइपर वेरिएबल यू नो सेलिब्रिटीज आर ऑलवेज वेरिएबल दे दे आर नॉट कांस्टेंट ओके दे कीप ऑन चेंजिंग देयर थिंग्स हैव यू नो दे आर वेरी दे आर सेलिब्रिटी बिकॉज़ दे चेंज देयर यू नो बॉयफ्रेंड गर्लफ्रेंड हस्बैंड वाइफ दे कीप ऑन चेंजिंग सो दीस आर द पॉइंट्स क्वेश्चन and another a for it is called amino terminal a for a a for amino terminal this also question asked amino terminal okay amino terminal a for a amino terminal very simple uh, a uh, ag binding because fab means ab is antigen binding point that's what antigen binding parot of hotspot fiber hep c is very very easy sub either hai question was frequently asked from here all c things okay c means c for it's called constant region C for it's a constant region, and other C is for cell binding. Cell will attach here only cell binding. Okay. Also other C for complement binding. कोई भी आपको C आता नहीं, you close your eyes and write these things. Complement binding. And one more C is there. That is what carboxy terminal. Because this is a C for C carboxy terminal. The name came up to this one. Now carboxy terminal. Okay. Finished. This is a question. Got it frequently asked. So please don't forget. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now. there are few substances that can break the uh so the, the, that can break this see the bonds whatever the bond you are seeing they are or they are disulfide bonds usually but only it can be any bond except no covalent bond remember no covalent bond no covalent bond remember that no covalent bond no covalent bond okay this you have to remember and there is something called enzyme digestion there are three substances that can digest the immunoglobulin that question will be asked very easy very easy what are the substances one is papain papain second one pepsin third one is mercapto ethanol mercapto ethanol mercapto ethanol okay mercapto ethanol okay now what happened please remember carefully uh very few times the question has been asked but you never know again you these people are crazy they can ask you anything papa is always up hai na papa is up so what happened when the it papa breaks the bond above the disulfide okay above when it breaks the bond above it breaks the bond above pepsin will bond below this one mercapto everywhere everywhere so when the bond is this is the bond i told right so when you imagine when the bond is cut here what happened when it is cut here here you will have what totally what will happen to the uh, fb there will be two fb right when you when it cut it when it cut above the bond you will have wait i want to write other pen here again ah you will have two fab and one fc it will break into like that if you break it here okay there will be only one if you break here you understand what i'm saying it's above the bond no? so this part if i break here here is what but if it break it below here then what happen i will have one fab one fab and many fc but when mercaptor breaks you will have two fab and two fc two fab and two fc okay very simple so to to how to remember forget also mera family mein kya hai do hai do mera family mein do hai do mummy pa matlab do means papa mummy and do children my family two kids right so mera family mein do do parents do children that's it do parents two fab and two fc finished okay but papa is always above so break upar ho jayega to kya hoga aapko you will get two fab and one fc niche hoga to the fab will become only one But this FC will be many FC. जब बहुत सारे FC हैं ना, they will break. That's it. Okay. So these are the things you should be remembering in the uh, this thing, uh, in the uh, uh, this point. Okay. In antibody, you know, globulin. These are the basic, basic things. Okay. So please don't forget. I have revised it very carefully. In one page, I finished everything. So very simply, if you solve the questions, you will do it very easily. Now, shortcuts. Ah, uh, individual. Now, now we are going to talk about the individual, individual. Okay. Ah, uh, excuse me. I just take a few sips of coffee. excuse me <coughs> now <coughs> if you see her uh, yeah g g and m you know difference okay i am going to separate like this okay this is igg 
So IgG and this is IgM. Okay, why sir? Why did you put Mukesh Ambani here and then G here? God, G for God. All right, God. And M for it's a millionaire. Millionaire Mukesh Ambani. Okay, millionaire Mukesh Ambani. Anybody is a billionaire actually. Let's put him in millionaire for our remembrance. Okay, God. Remember one thing. <coughs> you already know very well about these things, immunoglobulins. I know. God is everything. That means maximum production. G. Anna? Maximum serum. Uh, maximum serum concentration or whatever. Maximum serum concentration production. And maximum half life. Pura Bhagwan hota. Hai. Bhagwan is everything. God is everything. So ye pura unka ye maximum. IgG. IgG is maximum. Okay. IgG. Second one. Usually, bachche ko, when you come for a child, <coughs> child, especially fetus, the first immunity come from the God. So child immunity. That is, the child receives mother to child. Mother to child, first mother to child, the immune, the immunoglobin which goes is IgG. You know that one, right? God can do everything. Bhagwan says, Sab kuch hota hai. <coughs> Bhagwan kya kya kar sakta hai? He can do opsonization. He can do classic compliment. I'll, there's a twist here. Compliment, there is one thing I'll tell you. But opsonization, classic compliment. He can do agglutination. He can do precipitation. He can do neutralization. He can do Co-agglutination. A B question I have. Co-agglutination. Sare co-agglutination observation frequently asked question. IgG as main role. Okay. Question, question, question. Mother to child, Mati. Excuse me. And then if you remember, chronic infection. Any chronic infection. G and C remember similar. God and G and C is equal to similar. So all this in co-agglutination and chronic infection, G G. Okay. Now uh, another important thing in IgG, which I want you to remember is, uh, it's most heat stable also, it's very heat stable also. Another thing is, there are two. We, the, of IgG, may, many types are there. The max, G1 is the, G1 is the one that maximum concentration. G1 is the maximum concentration. And also, it is crossing placenta, mother to child placenta crossing also G1. G2 is when immunoglobulin G2 goes less, you have an infection of what? You'll have recurrent infections, pyogenic infection, recurrent pyogenic infection, pyogenic because of opsonization problem, pyogenic infection. This is one extra point. But these are the questions will be from these only. Maximum production, maximum serum concentration, maximum half-life, child opsonization, and chronic infection. That's it. This one you remember. And yeah, that's it. For now, you remember this one. IgM. What about IgM? IgM has unique thing properties. We'll talk about that now. What are those things? So IgM millionaires, I already told, rich people. Rich people ka, uh, one thing, they are rich. That's what they are pentamer. Aap pentamer, aap 5 rupees de do, wo 5 rupees ke kya bane ke dega? 10 rupees bane ke dega. So valency is 10. Yeah, bada number valency is 10. Okay, by valency is 10. That's one thing for IgM. Number two, Maximum molecular weight. Molecular weight. Maximum molecular weight. Jada paisa hoga na, so mota to ho jayega. Paisa jada hai, usko it's a valency 10 hai. Their valency is 10. Mukesh Ambani, millionaire has 10. Another name for IgM is millionaires only. That's also name. Please don't forget. Okay, M is millionaire. And mol maximum molecular weight. Another thing is important here. M has important role in classic complement. Classic life, Bhagavan se jada kiska hai? IgM ka. Please remember. Classic complement and agglutination. Though it can agglutination, though it can do even opsonization also. Opsonization, precipitation, sab kuch kar sakta hai. But for classic complement and I don't know ka IgM is more than IgG. That was a question asked. So classic, classic, classic ka hai to millionaire, millionaire, millionaire. Only millionaires will have a classic life, okay? Very rich and happy life. So remember like that, classic, uh, classic one, okay? Classic, you remember that one, okay? That will be asked also. Please remember. Okay, then, so classic complex organization, IgM has more role than the IgG, okay? You got it. Now, other one is acute infection. Any acute infection, any acute infection, you have IgM. That was a question that you should know from starting only. Chronic means G, acute means the same. Another two important thing is cryoglobulinemia. Cryoglobulinemia and also in rheumatoid arthritis factor, 
बोथ और आईजीएम रिच पीपल क्या करते हैं रोता है दे क्राई क्राई ओके रिच पीपल विल क्राई डोंट कंफ्यूज विथ सी क्रोनिक दिस इज क्राइग्लोबिमिया हु विल क्राई रिच पीपल विल क्राई ये याद कर लेना वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड वन मोर दीज एंटीबॉडीज आर आल्सो कॉल्ड कोल्ड एंटीबॉडीज रिच पीपल आर कोल्ड सो व्हिच इज द कोल्ड एंटीबॉडी डोंट राइट जी इट इज एम मिलियनर्स आर वेरी कोल्ड यू नो दे डोंट लाइक टू हेल्प एनीवन दे आर वेरी सैड पीपल ओके सो कोल्ड cold cry rheumatic with this all things will go for igm very simple definite question 100 percentage questions from this one i can say 100 percent guaranteed questions from this probably is it come in medicine or patho or uh, micro i don't know but you can have questions okay right now what about iga ig things so this also very very simple what are things you should know here is now iga i already told you just iga and then ig e and ig d okay let's go individually yes now when you talk about ig uh one minute hmm iga we already took the local immunity local mucosa immunity local mucosa immunity number one i told you and it's present in all secretions secretion means any secretion it could be your tear saliva uh, gat secretion any secretion number two and usually i told this is a dimer dimer but you know you to remember there are two there is iga1 is monomer a1 power 1 monomer but there is iga2 a2 is dimer which is less which is less okay because a1 is the most common one but because question can be asked so they can ask dimer dimer means i told you know that they are joined that the two immunoglobulins they are joined but how they join they join by a chain called j chain j chain okay j chain they have a j chain covered okay that one That's important. So this is the local immunity and the dimer at present the all secretions. Okay, that's it. This is very important one in the IgA column. E is very important. What are the things important in E? E is first of all E is bad. E means remember like enemy. E to enemy hai. E to I'll change the color again here because to make it nice look good. Ah, huh. so E is enemy. Enemy hai na? Enemy to evil hai, devil hai. So devil hai. enemy is devil. So that means what? It is heat labile. This is the most heat labile antibody. Heat stable is IgG. The most heat stable is Ig. God is always heat stable. He can survive all the heat. God G, right? But devil or enemy or evil, evil is always heat labile. Jaldi mar jata hai. Least half life. Half life bhi sabse kam hai because evil hai na jaldi mar jayega. So half life bhi kam hai. Heat labile least hai bhi question question. And another E is what? It is important all allergy. allergy we talk type 1 hyper allergy means type 1 habit that's very important in type 1 hypersensitivity reaction allergy and one more thing is what it has important parasite infection yes parasite infection parasite infection especially you know helminths any any parasite but helminths very common helminths so ig is role is this only and plus don't forget the homo cytotrophic a enemies you know they are more homophobic like that you can remember okay cyto uh, homo cytotrophic or they are uh enemies like if you see the lucifer they, they are homosexual right so homo homocytotrophic it's for remembrance only nothing uh, this thing okay i uh, think and d d is the clue is very simple i always remember like this best dad best best mom and dad best mom and dad that means what b for b cell b for b cell so b cells receptors are what ig m and d so d has important role here that's it okay that's it and of course it's made up of uh, dextrose sugar that's fine no, no, not that important okay so these are about your immunoglobulin very very simple okay this is very very easy there is no any way that you are going to forget after uh, me giving this many clues okay so please remember this excuse me Uh, and then next, uh, uh, okay, we finish with the immunoglobulin. Now abnormal immunoglobulin. When you talk about abnormal immunoglobulin, I know that one thing must be striking your mind. That is your which one? Uh, your Benz John protein. Benz John protein. We'll talk. You know that already. One number two is Wal the Storm macro. Globulinemia. Another one is cryoglobulinemia. 
cryoglobulinemia. Okay, you know this one. You must have said many times. Okay, now, excuse. Yeah, now, Benstone protein, where you see, first of all, multiple myeloma. It's all, you see everything in multiple myeloma. Okay, while the storm macro, even cryoglobulin is seen in some of the multiple myeloma, it's seen. Okay, they are basically B cell tumor or plasma cell tumor. Okay, plasma cell tumor. They're plasma cell tumor. So these are benzone proteins. And I always remember Benz as Benji. You know, I remember him as Benji. Why? Because which is the immunoglobulin in benzone? Benzone protein is basically which immunoglobulin excreted in the urine. It is basically IgG more than M. Uh, more than A, I'm sorry. More than A. Okay, benzone protein is IgG more than A, not M. M will not come. If it's talk specially benzone, that is Ig, IgG more than thing. Okay, so these are the, this is the protein, Benji, and light chain, not heavy chain, light like I call him as I call him as thin Benji. Thin Benji Benji become thin because of multiple myeloma. Okay. Light chain. Light chain excreted in the urine. That is the bench John protein. Multiple myeloma, which is IgG more than A X in the urine. Simply Benji. Shortcut is thin Benji. You can remember, not forget it. Okay, right. Now Waldestom macrogumia. In Waldestom macrogumia, W no W is always looking like M. M is equal to M. That means Waldestom may. It is seen in the multiple myeloma and it's basically which immunoglobin? IgM. That's the question. IgM. This was asked many times. Which immunoglobin? They might ask in Waldorf to macroglobin. It's also type of macrobia, but IgM. You should say that. Okay. Cryoglobin, as I already told you, this is basically IgM against, against, the, against the hep C portion of immunoglobin. Again. Okay. It's again, again, same thing. Same thing which happened in a rheumatoid fetus. Same like this. This is also IgM. This is also IgM. Okay. So that uh, that is also uh, that causes the cryoglobulin urea, cryoglobinemia, cryoglobulin urea. Okay, so remember these are the things they can ask. So which one? Ig Benz, Benji Benji G A and Waldstrom W and M look similar, similar. So Ig M and cryoglobulin is also Ig M. That's it. And cryoglobulin, if you see some infections, which very common, especially HCV. In HCV infection, this is very very common. We studied many times. That also can be a question asked. Okay, that's it. This is abnormal. Now we have monoclonal antibody. We are still in the antibody topic. Different types of antibody we are talking, right? In multiple myeloma, more will be in medicine topic. I am speaking only from microbiological point of view. That I am trying to cover even medical part also, but few things I am saying. Okay, important things. Now monoclonal antibody. If you see, what is a monoclonal antibody? Monoclonal antibody means any. See, we are making a clone and the we're making a clone from clone. What happened? Antibodies are derived. Same type of antibodies derived that we're using for treatment. That we're using for many treatment, like cancer, uh, for cancer, some viral infection, you know, viral infection, many things, even uh, COVID, give it many places. This has been trialed. That is the clone. Monoclonal is from single clone, antibodies are formed. All the antibodies from the single clone. So how we are making this clone? That's the point. So now we're going to see how we're going to make this one. So, so basically it's like this. Uh, if you see the uh, thing clone, two cells will be there. One is the normal cell. We mix it with the normal cell. We mix it with the cancer cell. Normal cell, we mix with the cancer cell. Okay. Normal cell is mixed with the cancer cell. Okay. Then what? Normal cell is basically we are taking from where? From the mice spleen cell. Okay. Cancer cell usually human myeloma two my myeloma multiple myeloma cells okay myeloma cells we are taking from there and we are making a clone from this we are making a clone why we choose like this because a my spleen cell means you no know, see these cells they are good cells but they can't survive but cancer cells what happens they are not growing good but they can survive so we are mixing the two property to make a clone and from that clone whatever the immunoglobulin is formed that is called monoclonal map we call it as map that is used in the treatment. That is used in the treatment. So now how we do, we classify it into like this. We classify it into uh, human, human map, human map, humanized map, human map, humanized map. Okay. And then uh, human, humanized, chimeric and mice. Mice map, very simple. When you talk about human map, 100% it's human, 100% human, 100% human, human cells. 
in human eyes it will be it will be 90 90 percentage of human in chimeric it will be 60 almost see 66 percentage would be your uh, uh human and 34 around 34 percentage it would be your 34 percentage would be your mice in the mice monoclonal it will be 100 percentage mice that's it, okay? 100, 90, 66, 60. It's like between, you know, uh, 60 to 70 ka range in chimeric, okay? Chimeric. So, excuse me. So, 30% uh, will be mice and 100% mice. The most commonly used one is human map. That can be a question. Which is the most commonly used one? Human map is most commonly used. That's it. That would be the question they will ask, okay? Right? Yeah. Now, now next one. Uh, Ancient antibody interaction. Yeah, so uh, uh, we will continue this topic separately because uh, I think until now that was too much. So maybe we'll divide into two topics. So whatever I taught you still now, that is one part. So from the next part would be ancient antibody interaction, everything. So that will be followed by this lecture and then your whole immunity will be over. Okay, thank you so much. All the best. Revise well. We will do more revision. Also, we have a question and answer discussion of immunity also. So my uh, all the best for you. Thank you guys. Thank you so much.